Hey, it's Lisa DeBoer coming to you for another live Give Me Five on Friday. And you know, we love finding new pediatric products to share with you. And we have found something really unique and interesting. And I made sure to bring Scott with me today so that he is going to uh, do a demo. And this is our new friend. And you are from the VBM company. And you've been with them, you said, for 40 years. And your name? Alden Chen. And so at the end, we're going to have give you Scott, um, Alden's email address. So that way, if you like what you see, you'll be able to reach out to him for more information. All right. So, Scott, would you like to explain why Absolutely. we stopped at this table and said, ooh, pediatrics? So I had to come by just because, again, I'm always looking for new toys that we can play with. And when it comes to kids, specifically for intubation and airway management, the whole idea comes into play about should you use a stylet? should you use a bougie and if you're going to use one or the other which one should you actually use now why that's kind of important is when i walk by i'm like wait a minute this is actually a way to combine both of them which as somebody who performs intubations in my previous life on little kids this was actually really kind of cool so why this comes into play is more and more places are saying now from little kids to big people that if you're going to intubate anybody across the lifespan, you ought to use a bougie. And their rationale is simple. If you don't need it, big deal. You're not going to do anything different. But if you're down there and you have a Hail Mary where you can't see squat, but all you can make out is a little bit of landmarks, you can use a bougie to actually make it a lot easier to pick the right spot. So it started off with adults and went to kids, and now they actually make them for babies as well. And that's what caught my eye was a couple different things. The first of which is when we take a look at this little one here, it actually goes all the way down to a 3.0 tube. Meaning if you wished as small as a little baby, you can actually use it. The other thing that I thought was really kind of neat though was twofold. The first of which is remember you've got stylets and you've got bougies. But specifically in this case, the bougie is actually combined with a stylet, meaning you can actually bend it into whatever shape you'd like it to be. The other thing that I noticed that was kind of cool was right here. And when you look at the bougie tip itself, it's actually very flexible. Unlike most bougies, which are stiff all the way down. And this was kind of cool because not only does it have a little pointed tip to allow you to hopefully hook underneath the epiglottis and go into the right spot, but it's a little bit more flexible in the part that's actually touching the airway. Now take that one step further though, and that's right here. So this is the little people version, meaning babies and little kids. This is the bigger one. And this one I thought was kind of cool because same idea, right? You can see how when it slides down the tube, right? You can bend it into whatever shape you'd like but you've got that flexible tip that again points up to the airway. However, the other cool thing though that I'd heard about but hadn't seen, especially on little kid's side, was right here, they've got an additional port that you can go ahead and hook your oxygen directly up to it. And that really is kind of neat because now when you're down there playing in the airway, trying to find what you're looking for, you can hook this up and actually continue to have oxygen flowing downstream. So it started off with big people, now it's little people as well. And if you're gonna be trying to put a tube into somebody's airway, the idea of using a bougie for every intubation, now for little people to big people, is probably something you're gonna see far more of in the future.